All right, guys, so in this video, I wanted to uh, go over my electrical connections. So we're about finished with the pro with um, at least the installation process. The next the next process is going to be the tuning process. But um, I went ahead and got majority of my electrical connections done. Uh, the only thing that's left is my uh, pump or the um, the cooling pump for the supercharger. I still need to wire that up, and mount everything. But for the other stuff, uh, I've already, I went ahead and did. So here I got my, this is my uh, extension for the, from ICT billet for the TPS, uh, throttle position sensor. So it's going and it worked out perfect, um, going into the stock connector back there. And just to keep it in place, you know, I went, it's pretty close to some moving parts here, whether that's the bypass valve or the belt. I went ahead and zip tied. Uh, I had a little zip tie here and one of these threaded holes that were not being used on the uh, coolant intake the intake coolant manifold. Uh, let's see the ECT sensors so that 48 inch worked out perfect. Um, so if you guys do need a 36 inch, I'll, I can knock off uh, some money off that guy if anybody's interested in purchasing it because I, I don't need it. Um, but you can see how I got it routed back here. It's uh, going to the back of the engine down and then to the side and then I have it uh, kind of zip tied up on this main loom and coming underneath the supercharger and then it mounts to the or connects to the connector underneath the supercharger around this throttle body area. Uh, maybe I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do might consider when I when I upgrade the fuel system for phase two and after I remove this supercharger again is I might route this into the valley here since it does have plenty of room and it just makes the connecting a lot easier. Uh, let's see, so that's the ECT, that's the TPS, uh, the um, prior to see here, but got the EVAP purge solenoid all uh, wired up. Um, so that connector, uh, it, it is a little bit tight, but it does fit. I didn't have to do any extensions to that. Uh, worked out perfect. Same with the, um, the actual line there that carries the fuel vapors. Didn't have to do any extensions, it plugged in just right. Um, let's see, I went ahead, if you guys remember, in one of the other videos, let's see if I can get out better. Yeah, this, this uh, I talked about when I had to put the, when I was putting the supercharger in, I took this wire loom out of its tray. I went ahead and um, put it back in there, zip tied it up. Uh, I needed to do that a little bit anyways to, because that uh, EVAP connector is part of that loom, so it allowed it to come forward towards the engine and, and make it easier to connect into the EVAP. <laughs> so we got the purge solenoid set up, we got the TPS done, we got the ECT done. Um, let's see, the other one was the MAP sensor. So probably another one I'll consider re rerouting, because the way I have it now is, if you guys remember, in the Crawford Racing, um, wiring harness I got here for for the um, the T-MAP <clears throat> as it breaks out the IET from the MAF and so you have one wire if you can see it back there uh, that uh, is a solo wire that runs to the MAF and then you got the other wire that branches off from the T-MAP and connects into the, the MAP um, harness down here in the uh, in the valley so I would have probably would have rerouted that differently and so right now I got it routed up on the bulkhead, kind of following this support frame, support bar, down just secured by zip ties. And then over here, I think what I would have done differently with the same with the, the ECT is just rounded it through the uh, engine valley here and just came out behind the alternator, you know, just to make it a little bit cleaner. But that all worked out uh, pretty good. So you see there I got the, uh, the MAF connection and got the uh, wire somewhat cleanly routed and zip tied out of the way connected into the map sensor um, so I got everything connected I uh, have everything routed I think the way I want for now and secured with zip ties the only thing left is the um, the uh, wire harness here for my pump I got the pump already connected I just gotta tap it in <clears throat> that one's pretty simple um, I wanted to not use um, uh, a fuse tap, you know, I wanted to actually open up the fuse box from the bottom and add in a, a splice from an ignition, ignition source to one of the unused open, um, terminals inside the fuse block. 
and then um, you know add a, a fuse to that, make it look a more professional. But it's I don't know. I'm, I think for now I'm just gonna do the easy way and just um, throw a, a fuse tap in there. Yeah, the only thing it's doing is it's not gonna be it shouldn't be over uh, loading the circuit in the fuse box because it, the only load that's gonna be on that circuit is is that relay and that's gonna it's not gonna pull very much. It's just the coil it's energizing. All the heavy lifting in terms of amperage is going to be pulled from the um, the tap in the back where the battery comes into the fuse box. So that's going to be pretty simple to get that one done. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much, I think, what I wanted to cover in this video. So really excited, getting really close. Um, oh yeah, the other thing I forgot to mention I wanted to talk about was also went ahead and um, routed up my... Uh, routed up the uh, catch can. So if you guys remember when I was before I installed the supercharger, I went ahead and on the bottom of the supercharger put the um, the barb in there and, and the hose connected and just had this guy hanging off. I went ahead and took my old um, catch can hose, uh, cut out the uh, A and fitting that was in there and reapplied it on on this one, cut it down to length and got it connected so now the couch can is is all set up and re ready to route clean clean air into the into the bottom of the supercharger so the only thing left at this point before i can actually start the engine is i need to do the air intake routing this is actually turning into more of a challenge and it should be just because of you know it's a little bit of a custom route here a little bit tight here between the uh, throttle body and, and the fan shroud uh, plugging off some of the vacuum lines and then cooling, filling up the coolant, uh, cooling system, the supercharger system, and the and the engine. So we'll do that in one of the upcoming videos. All right, guys. See ya.